invented an invention You know duct tape? It's not like that We have created a creation You know cupcakes? It's not like that It's just a button, just a simple little button you can press And when you press it you'll be happy with no harmful side effects Okay, our legal teams informed us we must warn you of the button side effects. You know that feeling when you had something to say and then forgot. This is not like that. You know that stress you get when you commit a crime and then get caught. This is not like that. It's just a button, just a helpful little button you can hit. It makes you happier for four to seven hours All depending on your blood type Also someone random on the planet dies It probably won't be someone you know You're gonna love this new thing This happy feeling Machine side effects and strings attached I want this but not like that Revise a new revision We got your feedback You did not like that We have modified the button Now instead of someone dying They will simply lose their balance As they're walking down the stairs It's not your fault If they won't hold the rail You're gonna love this new thing This happy feeling Machine side effects And strings attached I want this but not like that A college student oversleep their last exam And a small business owner losing an envelope of cash And a puppy will be told he's a bad dog When he didn't do anything wrong You're gonna love this new thing This happy feeling Machine side effects and strings attached I want this but not like that I wanna love this new thing I'd kill for something to Starts tonight because tonight's the night, but not just any night. It is movie night. Oh, yep. I would have made you dinner, but my toaster broke. So you put on a little sci fi film about the dangers of blah blah blah, whatever. I am barely watching, time is standing still I'm about to change my life forever I ask you if we can chat a minute And you say sure when the movie's finished So I fast forward to the end And say I think we should be more than friends And you say look, you're great uh oh, that's not a good start You say you're not ready for that And don't wanna mess up what we have But I have an idea, you say And you reach into your bag of things that 20 year olds think are good ideas And you pull out this massive classic gem If we're both still single at 30, will you marry me? It's a Pinky promise shifted one to the right It's too soon for right dues Will you take and I might If we're both still single at 30 And I am not your first choice But I'm a solid 30 plan Hot damn safety 
empty net that I am You got a backup love So you know where I stand I'll take a maybe A shot or a chance Yeah, I'll take a maybe A shot or a chance So we cut to the scene Where I build a machine But not just any machine It is a time machine I made it from a toaster Like that movie Hot Toast Time Machine I load a bagel in the future slot Set to ten and smack down on the lever A decade passes in a single thought I'm about to change my life forever I find you when you're still single I am obviously single It's like a tale from a storybook Until you say how does 40 look But wait I'm pretty sure you said, and I quote, If we're both still single at 30, will you marry me? It's a time capsule, no, it's a proposal A little bit of neither and a little bit of both So that we're both still single at 30, but apparently What you really meant to say was Ah, oh, come on, let's pick an arbitrary number Kick the can down the road before we tie it to the bumper You never thought we'd be single at 30 But I am still not your first choice But I'm a solid 40 plan Hot damn safety net that I am You gotta back up love so you know where I stand I'll take a maybe, a shot, or a chance yeah, I'll take a maybe, a shot, or a chance There are no bagels in the future I have got one left but two slots on my toaster One'll take me forward, one'll take me back One's another chance and one is closure I load my bagel, I've made up my mind Set to ten and smack down on the lever a decade passes as I go through time I'm about to change my life forever Hello my platonic best friend I'm sending you this note A long shot and a large confession They say it's crazy but I don't know how to tell ya I've dropped some subtle hints But we're close knit like our clothes fit So nitpick one up like this I love you best friend, my best friend Unless you don't love me Then I just sent the wrong link I got big dumb thumbs And I never send this to my best friend Hello, my platonic best friend Let's take this nice hand slow I'm second guessing this confession But I reckon that I'm better with a no Than you should have said so Let's put our hands together And we'll drop this whole facade Cause I just want us to be closer Than the two peas in a plot I love you best friend, my best friend I had to let you know by letting this guy do it for it's either real or really, really, really good inside joke Between best friends We are platonic but I wanna be the opposite It seems I've gotten caught up by the promise of this opportunity And I just wanted to acknowledge all the options at our feet And I don't wanna hop my noggin like an ostrich on the beach Cause on the microscopic odds that you respond I wanna see you spin the bottle, watch it wobble, have it stop and point at me I am fond of talking to ya, it's ironic that I need A melodic middleman to monologue that's all for me But just as Washington was honored just for chopping down a tree A policy is flawed if it's not one of honesty It's a lot of bills to swallow, here's some Water if you need, you can wash away the offer, but this song is coming clean. Yeah, I love you, best friend, my best friend. It's such a simple sentence that sent just to mess with our heads and with our friendship. But don't stress, I'm just messing unless you're interested in the next step for progressing. I'm hedging all my bets on this old tune For my platonic best friend, I love you Yeah, my platonic best friend, I love you
The old man next door says his house is haunted He says a ghost keeps him awake I think he's having a hard time to be honest Since his darling passed away But he fears that a phantom has finally found him Some nemesis that never quit holding a grudge The old man next door says his house is haunted It's best to be up front with some tough love I said, Robert, I'm so sorry Your house ain't haunted You're just not used to being alone Robert, all the creaks and shifts Are just the sounds you missed When you shared your home He says, no, 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 no I've had some close calls with falling items I'm tucking picture frames and dinner plates and all All my daily meds, I can never find them They're put in places that I never would have done And the furniture shifts and it caused me to trip I wake up with my pillow on my face every night It sounds silly but this house is trying to kill me Will you come see? Just stay with me Just stay with me one time I said Robert I'm so sorry your house ain't haunted You're just not used to being alone Robert all the shifts and creaks Are just the signs of grief Now you're living on your own But okay I'll go I can't help but feel absurd Because nothing that I've heard From the downstairs room is of paranormal origin It's 4 a.m. This poor old man is just confused But wait I hear footsteps on the stairs They're getting louder and louder above me They're stomping, I pray it's just Robert Until I hear him scream my name I go running up the stairs, jumping three at a time And I'm fully unprepared for the terrors I will find I burst into the room and by the light of the moon It's a ghost as real as both of me and you And it wasn't the butler that he sacked without cause Or that surly groundskeeper Or that mafia boss Or his old business partner that he stabbed in the back Or the ghost of Christmas future, present or past And it wasn't the guy from the mishap at the zoo or that other guy from the other mishap at the zoo No, of all the spooky specters Robert wronged in his life The ghost floating between us was his darling dead wife And she said, Robert, I'm so sorry Didn't mean to scare ya I'm just not used to being alone Robert, you see death's a one-way street And I can't find my way back home I figured I'd just come get ya I thought a haunting might do the trick Robert, I'm sorry I thought it'd be easier I don't remember you being this quick The old house next door's got a sign out front now a for sale sign tied to a post So attention shoppers, you can make an offer On a two bed, two bath and a ghost With a big backyard and a red meat diet He was always on time and he never cried Didn't pose or boast or showboat Even though Harrison had a perfect life Prayed every day and he loved his wife You could count on nothing ever going wrong for him Until his wife left him for a vegetarian One, two, three, four, five It was a shocking plot twist We heard before he had it all then lost it Herbivore when the unexpected wrecks you at your best. Well, you may get up, but you 
can't make it make sense. But Harrison had great support, friends helped him out through his divorce. They said, just get back on the horse. He said, I don't know what that means. So Harry got a hobby, bought a telescope, took it to the top of the hill to be alone. When he saw a shooting star, and made a little wish on it for home. Then the news came on and said it was a common headed straight for Earth. It was a shocking plot twist. All hope was lost, and from now on, he'll not wish on giant rocks when the unexpected wrecks you once again. Well, you may get up, but you can't make it make sense. But instead of being shocked by the imminent apocalypse, he caught a little gossip around the office about a rocket ship, and all he had to do was forge a couple little documents to get a seat on the rescue ship. But when Harry stuck in to modify the manifest, he got caught by someone he did not expect the pesky vegetarian. Harry's very nemesis from earlier in the song. It was a shocking plot twist. So, Harry hit the body and he headed straight home His final meal eaten and his baggage all stowed Tomorrow he was leaving and Harrison was raring to go But then he accidentally set his alarm for p.m. instead of a.m. So the rocket ship took off without him Five, four, three, two, one It was a shocking plot twist Left on the ground he had it all then got kicked While he was down with the unexpected it wrecks your last defense Well you may get up but you can't make it make sense So Harrison watched the rocket fly away While a single tear rolled down his cheek and hit the ground Twelve feet below His cute neighbor with a weird neck came over and said I can't believe we're going to experience the first comet-based mass extinction event in our planet's history. She said, what position do you want to be found in? By the humans in 65 million years, that's right. This whole time, Harrison was a dinosaur. One, two, three, four, five, it was a shocking plot twist. He was a T-Rex and you all never saw this coming, I bet, but the unexpected Rex is hard to guess. When you make it up and you make it make no sense. So Harrison, he died that day, then we dug him up and put him on display. The scientists could not explain why he was hugging a brontosaurus. So there's just one thing left to twist our prehistoric biases. If you assume someone's like you, be warned. They might actually be a dinosaur. You're the best at telling stories to help me fall asleep. You do all the silly voices conversating make believe And I am wide awake, I might have drank a bit too much caffeine Can you tell a bedtime story to help me fall asleep? Okay, so two bickering bears are bumbling through the woods when they stumble upon a tent. And they can tell that there are two humans inside because it has a two human inside scent. Now these bears are cold and hungry as food prices have jumped across the hibernation, but they have a philosophical difference on how to approach this tense situation. Big Bear says let's ambush them, come crashing through their flimsy little roof. Big Bear hungry, Big Bear beefy, Big Bear seafood and walk Small food. Bear says why do you tackle every problem like a grizzly brew? Small bear angry, small bear tired, small bear about Because, well, yes, I see the merits of attacking by surprise We'd get a meal, but I can't bear to crush their valuable supplies Imagine waking up each day and catching the sunrise From this tent after we eat the chumps inside 
But Big Bear isn't buying it because they don't have the dexterity to unzip the uh, zipper. And if they wait for the humans to come outside, they might be armed, alarmed, and ready to shoot them quicker than the bears can react. And then they'll go from two rugged bears looking for a good home in the woods to looking like two bear rugs on the wood floor of a home goods. Small Bear says, I hear you, but insist the benefits outweigh the risk. Small Bear still respects that Big Bear gets a say in all of this. Big Bear thinks about it, then a wicked grin erupts across his lips. Big Bear's grateful for a partner that community. He says, I think this. there's a solution that will satisfy your needs. A compromise that will surprise these hairless little bees. And if we do this right, we'll leave the tent looking pristine. We'll get our bed and breakfast, Bear B&B. Uh, you're not going to leave that in. I'm leaving it in. So Big Bear says the local gopher owes me a favor from every day when I don't eat him. So he can either reach in or dig his little feet in to dig up underneath them and sneak in. And he can unzip the screen, then we can both creep in while they are deep asleep. And oh, come on, let's go for it. I'm sick and tired of scheming. So they overcame their bickering with simple compromise. And the bears began their buffet with some Side, and they lived happily ever after in their tents that side by side. Then you kissed me on the head and said goodnight. Yeah, then you kissed me on the head and said goodnight. You were the best at telling stories to help me fall asleep. You did all the silly voices, made me honestly believe. And now I'm wide awake, mistaking every breaking branch and leaf. The next time we go camping, I'll just stick to counting sheep. I didn't know you were a wizard, I guess that explains the hat. And those silly words you whispered that have put me in a trance I didn't believe in magic even as a little kid But if this trick ain't magic, I don't know what magic is You told me that you liked me and I didn't bat an eye You told me that you needed me and I swept it to the side but then you told me that you loved me Now no one's as shocked as I That it's those words in that order That's transformed this stubborn mind I didn't know you were a witch I guess that explains the cat And the reason it said bless you As I sneezed as it walked past I didn't believe in magic But you cast it on me quick You're my romantic alchemist Too charming to resist No, I didn't believe in magic Or in you until I did You're wicked and familiar I'm getting used to this You told me that you like me and I didn't bat an eye You told me that you needed me And I swept it to the side But then you told me that you loved me Now no one's as shocked as I That it's those words in that order That's transformed this stubborn mind I've had a moment of lucidity The spell has waned enough for me To wriggle from its grip on me Ever since they cast it I have struggled with my vision The only thing I see is their face Quick, well, there's no time I need to find And cast the counter curse I'll never have a chance again If they find out this didn't work I found their spellbook in amongst Their potions, robes, and cows I've got no chance to practice it I need to cast it now Reason, logic, rationale Protect me from this magic spell Reason, logic, rationale Protect me from this magic spell 
Reason, logic, rationale Protect me from this magic spell Reason, logic, rationale Protect me from this magic spell Reason, logic, rationale Protect me from this magic spell I Does not believe it And there ain't no shot for rationale When dealing with a magic spell Who works as well as that one Where you told me That you lied to me And I didn't bat an eye You told me that you needed me And I swept it to the side Side and then you wrote some sort of That made those words in that order hit before I changed my mind. My honey thinks I'm a coward. My darling thinks I'm a dud. My sweetheart swears I'm a bit too meek. My lover doubts I'm a fighter My sugar is sure I am neither My baby doll sprinkle but thinks I'm weak So you say to me Why can't you be More like Bug Hunter Fighting petty thieves behind the Wendy's Thwarting robberies Defending all the cowards Too afraid to be Bug Hunter Vigilante and a fighter Pulling grannies out of fires Though his spandex is too tight We love Bug Hunter You can run, you can hide Can you change my mind? My honey thinks I'm a coward That I have no superpowers That I'm just the average sloppy joe So you say no, I'll give you some credit You do seem athletic when you run you might be prophetic, at least telepathetic So I'm thinking of a hero, no need to guess it It might sting, but let it, I'd be yours If you'd be a bit more like Bug Hunter When the skateboard park collapsed Guess who dressed up in his mask With 20 grannies on his back That's right, Bug Hunter Whereas you were not around You disappeared when it went down Do you want to rob a bank? You say you're sick of fighting slash The crashing lack of passion slash The fact we act so unattached Relax, I'm having none of that You look fantastic slash at me I hatch a plan romantically For saving slash recapturing the passion We have back away at half the cash Imagine dreams, so pack the mass and make it
the scene Like this transaction's happening With factors, this is actually This is a sticker, put the money in the bag I'm banking on a better plan to hit me any day I'll take you on a date with everything we take To put on your best dress, babe Robbing a bank Let's recruit a crop of criminals, a crew to pull this off Like a crew to day of crime, we need variety to spice it up And an acrobat can bend the story back where it began And all the hackers on the planet cannot pack us up again We can do this, just the two of us, let's run the classic plan I'll be the distraction and they'll never catch your sleight of hand church with you so i sat through all the hymns in my best shirt and shiny shoes but a deal's a deal so you took the wheel and we headed to our mark you told me to lay low and keep my head down in the car you were silent on the drive it only hit me when we stopped you had driven us right back to church oh god this was a double cross this is a hiccup this you're gonna make me beg i imagine this finale going off a different way not the 50 50 split i had pictured in my brain cause i would give up all the love to play this game uh, that you called real life fan fiction where you take something real and innocuous and you try to sneak in some ridiculous little details to see if you can get away with it it'd be, it'd be something like Paul Revere he had a secret fear of horses that's why he rode so fast he was just trying to get it over with and Charles Darwin wrote a book about some finches with a chapter on which bird adapted to be most delicious. And I'm a fan of how you fan the flames and make a game of fan, fan fiction. What if something cool happened instead? I'm just wishing for the story to be more like in my head. Like fan fiction. <laughs> You'd do this thing whenever we'd go to a, a grocery store or a farmer's market, and you would have you'd have me. Um, we we pretend not to know each other, and you would make me go up and take a sample and say, "Oh, may I please take one for my partner as well?" And of course, they'd give it to me because it didn't matter. And I would scurry back with our little contraband snack, and if we liked it. And hit him with the old double play and you pull the same move on him and I'm sure that this is the standard operating procedure copied from the couple's playbook and we did not invent this move but she always called this robbing the bank which I always thought was so dramatic and fun fan fiction what if something cool happened instead? I'm just wishing For the story to be more like in my head Like fan fiction So we did this sort of thing all the time Turning our mundane moments into silver screen nonsense To spice things up and make each other laugh and it was fun when we were gossiping about our neighbors or making up tragic backstories behind the bones of the museum, but... I, th 
think I got too good at making up stories, thinking I could turn our story into a perfect little screenplay that would wrap up in the third act with a happy ever after, because people don't slowly drift apart in movies or fall out of love off screen. They have big emotional confessions with dramatic music that make it obvious that things just aren't the same as they used to be. And darling, I didn't hear a thing when I said, hey, we should go rob a bank. And you looked at me and your eyes were blank. How could you forget that? Are you so checked out? Are we okay? It's like you didn't know my face. Moved on from playing silly games, but interest shift and fashion slip and times move on and people change. But if that's gonna happen, I will fill in all the gaps with fan fiction. What if something could happen instead? I'm just wishing for the story to be more like in my head. And no matter how all this ends, it makes no difference. I'll be writing my own end with fan fiction. Fan fiction. You're perfect, what's the catch? Cause on the surface you don't have a scratch To make a worst case worse All my first date nerves are a mess But I'll keep them in check So I'll be silly, but polite I'll walk you home at the end of the night And so our first date ends leaning halfway in for our first kiss goodnight It's the one-armed hug For we fell in love yeah. It's the one-armed hug For we fell in love yeah. If I am leaving your corgi and sell all your stuff see what the east coast holds so far from all the ones that we love don't take it lightly but decide don't mess around with the rest of our lives will we dive head first where we can't reverse or Will we stand to the side? It's the one-armed hug For we fell in love yeah. It's the one-armed hug For we fell in love yeah. But that's all in the past My love, this is not like that We're imperfect we have faults, but the happy parts outweigh them all And I promise, from now on I will hold you with both of my arms It's not the one-armed hug, for we fell in love It's the whole embrace of the life we make yeah. It's the whole